Let us recall, as we all know, Earth's surface is made up of two types of lithospheric plates, the continental and the oceanic plates. Continental plates is thicker yet less dense than oceanic crust because of the lighter rocks and minerals that compose it. While the oceanic plates are made up of heavier basalt, the result of magma flows from mid-ocean ridges. Let us have the guide concepts for convergent, divergent, and transform fault boundary. In convergent plate boundary, tectonic plates are moving towards each other. They often cause one plate to slide below the other, or it undergoes the process we call subduction. In convergent plate boundary, earthquake as a geological event take place, and the formation of volcanoes, mountains, and other geological features also happens. There are three types of convergent plate boundary. What are those? First, the oceanic continental boundary. When oceanic and continental plates collide, the oceanic plate is forced down into the mantle in a process known as subduction. For the ocean crust, a trench or submarine valleys is formed. In oceanic continental boundary, a zone of earthquake activity at varying depths may occur and a volcanic eruption may also take place. In oceanic oceanic boundary, one of those plates will subduct beneath the other. A zone of progressively deeper earthquakes and oceanic trench as well as the formation of chain of volcanic islands also occur as an effect of oceanic oceanic boundary. In continental continental boundary, this will result in a very little subduction. Continental crusts get folded, faulted, and thickened, forming great mountain chains. So, so much now with convergent plate boundary. Let's proceed with the second type of plate boundary, and that is the divergent plate boundary. In divergent plate boundary, plates tend to move apart, forming rift valleys and oceanic ridges. Mostly are situated along underwater mountain ranges called oceanic ridges. The third type is the transform fault boundary. Plates slide past one another without the production or destruction of crust. It may result in some of the most damaging earthquakes on continental crust. Now let's move on with activity number three, convergent boundary. Our objectives for this activity is to explain the processes that occur along convergent boundaries and determine the consequences of colliding plates. How to do it? Watch this video! Guide question number one. What type of plate is the top part of the biscuit? Guide question number two. Describe what happens to plate A as it collides with plate B and why. Guide question number three. What do you think may happen to the leading edge of plate A as it continues to move downward, and why? Guide question number 4. What do you call this molten material? And guide question number 5. As the plates continue to grind against each other, what other geological events could take place?
guide question number one. What are the geological processes or events that occur because of plate movement as shown by the activity? Guide question number two. What geological features might form at the surface of plate A? And guide question number three, if the edge of plate A suddenly flicks upward, a large amount of water may be displaced. What could be formed at the surface of the ocean? For two continental plates converging, watch this video. Guide question number one. What happened to plate A as they were pushed from opposite ends? Guide question number two. If plate A represents the Earth's lithosphere, what do you think is formed in the lithosphere? Guide question number three. What are the other geological events that could take place with this type of plate movement? And guide question number four. In terms of consequences on the Earth's lithosphere, how will you differentiate this type of convergent plate boundary with the other two? Activity number four, divergent boundary. Our objectives for this activity is to explain the processes that occur along divergent boundaries and determine the results of plates as they are moving apart. How to do it? Watch this video. Guide question number one, what does plate A represent? Guide question number two, what happened to the creamy white center of the two broken biscuit as you pressed? And guide question number three, what landform is being formed in this kind of plate boundary? Activity number 5, Transform Fault Boundary Our objective for this activity is to determine the effect of Transform Fault Boundary on the Earth's crust. How to do it? Watch this video. Guide question number one, 
provide an example of a location where this type of boundary is found on Earth. Recall your previous lessons. Guide question number two. What real geologic event is simulated when the crackers finally move past each other? And guide question number three. What will happen to the crackers when the pressure is increased? Explain how this is similar to the situation along the San Andreas Fault.